so good morning guys and welcome again uh, today's episode is about tabs if we have time in case we have time we will do some stuff with windows in the case this video is very long we will just you know uh, we will not do something about windows so let me start immediately so I have already opened my uh, Visual Studio now I will suggest you something uh, open your history, fol history file and uh, I have done many searches, I have used my browser a bit and uh, there are many links here as you see this is not what I have searched but there are many links this is something that we will fix during the history episode but the file is very 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 uh, big and uh, the browser has some delay so delete the file okay so this is the first thing and now I want to talk about tabs you know what our code is very specific so when we say web browser run go back we mean this web browser will right here okay so click at the center and you will see that you have selected web browser run so when we say web browser run we mean web browser run okay this is very specific so if we create another tab then we have to be uh, specific for the other tab for the other web browser so we need to generalize a bit the things here okay we want that every time we say web browser we mean a general web browser we don't mean something so specific so uh, we will change our code a bit and uh, I will start by creating uh, a new class so click on vertex right here at the top and go to add and uh, add a new class in your in your project so I will name this web browser functions or maybe function maybe later we will have more than one because this is just one function here so uh, as you know we can inherit uh, methods and variables from other classes uh, in Java we, we do it like this inherit web browser but as you see here in Visual Basic we have a mistake uh, in order because Visual Basic needs this under the public class uh, name declaration so now we are fine and uh, here we have to create uh, a general um, function okay so private sub web browser doc comp comp for complete uh, and when and we will handle me dot document completed okay so this will be for all our web browsers because each tab will has <coughs> each tab will have its own web browser and uh, here we will have to say dim so we will declare a tab page as tab page equals to me dot tag and then we will also create uh, we will also use our form one so I think the the name for form one is is it form one or no is FRM vortex so it's not the name that you have at the top actually it might be but uh, if you click on the vortex and you will go right here you will see what's the name of your form so this is what we want okay so the uh, frm vortex as frm vortex and then i will say tab page dot text equals me, me dot document title and then frm vortex dot txt url uh, dot text equals with me dot url dot to string so this is for the moment uh, later we might have more functions but this is just what we need for now and something else guys because I have tested the new code and we have a mistake with uh, with the web icons so for some reason we have I, I had some mistakes uh, I will try to fix this uh, what my mistakes 
uh, are, I will try to fix them because every time that I create a new tab, I was creating a new tab, I couldn't get the icon and I was receiving an, uh, an error. So uh, delete for the moment web icons. Okay, delete the, the whole function, the whole event. And then delete this one also at the web browser navigated. Actually, you don't need this at all. So just delete this. So we delete two things. Let me do this again. So we will delete. We will delete web icons. So we will delete web icons and web browser one navigated. So we will delete them both. All right. Uh, what can we do now? So let me change. So as I said, uh, also these buttons go back, go forward, reload. They talk about a specific web browser, right? We talk about web browser one. So we have to make them also uh, more general. Okay. So how I will do this? Well, dim browser as, and then the func the, the class that we created. So web browser function. So you, the name of this. And then equals with me dot tab control one dot selected tab dot tag okay and then we will delete the web browser one name and we will type browser so we will use this type this thing here so I will copy paste this for all my navigation controls so forward and refresh refresh right here and I will change web browser one I will change this to browser very well uh, now the same thing we have to do with uh, txt URL key app because this one also talks about a specific web browser, web browser one. So we will have to make this more general. So uh, I will copy paste the same. Th uh, I will copy paste this. So copy this and paste it here, and then you will change again web browser one to browser. Very well. Now, same thing we will do here for txt URL search engines. So again, we need this one. We will come at the bottom of this. We will paste this here. And again, you have to change uh, web browser one to browser. Okay. So now, uh, for the moment, we will not have an X button right here because I don't know the code to say the truth. I will uh, search it on, uh, on Google. I will search how I can get the X button on my tab because uh, by default, the tab control doesn't have a function like that. We cannot do that. So you have to, I think, create it, something like that. So I will search it on Google and and during the next video, we will have the, the X button right here, so you can close this from here. So for the moment, we have to create uh, we have to create a menu here that we will, will close the tab. Okay, I will move this. I will move this at the top, right here. Very well. Uh, so now I will double click new tab, and I will also double click close tab. So new tab will has this code. Uh, we will have to create first a function, okay? That we will cr that creates a new tab. So public sub add tab, and then by ref tab control uh, C with uppercase. You don't have to do this, but I just want everything to be perfect. So, tab control. Okay, very well. So, uh, during our Java tutorials, uh, our GUI Java tutorials, we will have to create some uh, some controls, some components, some tools 
okay some tools like this so we have to create some tools and then put them inside inside the form put them inside containers so and the same thing that we have to do here so I have to create a, a web browser okay so each tab will has its own web browser so dim browser as new web browser uh, function very well and then dim tab as new tab page because each tab has a web browser and also has a tab page now the, uh, the browser dot tag equals to browser is equals to tab and uh, the tab dot tag equals to browser so and now we have to add the tab inside the tab pages of our tab control I don't know if you if you follow me here so uh, tab control one uh, dot tab pages dot add and then we say tab so we add in the tab control in its tab pages our new tab and then we say tab dot controls dot add the browser okay so we add in the tab now we add the browser so each tab will has its own browser now and uh, we have to dock the web browser so browser dot doc equals to uh, doc style fill and something else we have to browse somewhere so navigate and I will say www.google.com you can say whatever you want all right guys so this is for the uh, add tab now uh, we also want to remove our tabs so we have to create a new uh, a new method so public sub remove tab now this one doesn't need parameters so we just continue here and we will say if tab control one dot tab pages dot count not equals to zero then we can delete our uh, our tab page so tab control uh, one tab pages dot remove and then tab control one dot selected tab uh, now this one maybe yeah, okay so we go here and we call the add tab uh, oops fuck what did I do now okay so sorry about that so we call that the add tab and uh, of course we need something we need a tab control inside tab control one that's all okay and at the close tab we call the remove tab and the remove tab has no doesn't need something else doesn't need something extra all right now uh, you will click on the left drop down list here and you will go to web browser one uh, no sorry you will go to tab control one and you will click on the right drop down list right here and you will select selected index changed so selected index changed and now here you have to add a new code so dim browser as web browser function equals to tab control one dot selected tab tag and here we will have a try catch and we will say txt url dot text equals to browser dot url dot string and pretty much this is what we want right now uh, if we run this hopefully everything will be okay uh, we don't add something in our history list I just want to to, to mention this okay you have nothing in your history in right now uh, your history is empty because we have deleted the file and we don't have the code to add something in our history file uh, when we browse somewhere when we navigate somewhere we will have this code in our history uh, episode so if I click now to file I will go to new tab we create a new tab okay 
and by default okay so we have an error I didn't expect this to say the truth uh, I don't know why to string I mean this is right let me run this again okay we have a mistake here um, let me see this so the mistake is that uh, I forgot to put new here so dim frm vortex as new frm vortex I didn't notice that to say the truth so if we run this again and we create a new tab We have Google. Yeah, so we have everything. So if I go somewhere else, like YouTube.com, click OK, enter. OK, the, the URL changes, the name here changes. We don't have an icon, as I said. I will try to fix this. Uh, every time you go somewhere, you see that uh, the the URL changes according to where we are, right? YouTube, Google, Google again. Uh, let's try nine gag. <coughs> oh, I guess we have to wait for the for the browser to load. Okay, so yeah, very well. Okay, so everything works. Uh, we don't have something in our history, as I said. Our history is empty. We will fix everything about history in our history episode, so don't worry about this. Uh, all right, so what else do we need? I think we're fine. Our tabs work very very well I don't have forgot something all right so yeah guys I think this is just for today uh, this is a 18 minutes video so okay so thank you very much about this thank you very much for watching my videos thank you very much for liking my videos and subscribing to the channel I mean this is a lot this is a lot this is huge for me I'm trying to do everything uh, you know great so please subscribe to my to this channel to my channel subscribe to my channel like this video watch my other videos and please stay with me i know that i haven't started yet the keylogger project but you know i have been sick and also the college starts next week actually this week on uh, on monday we start i start college so it will be a very very hard time uh, yeah, I'm very sorry about this, but of course you will have the web browser and the keylogger and more projects. So subscribe and you will have them. So thank you very much and bye-bye uh, guys.